Hydrostatic uplift or the uplift pressure exerted by water in a structure having basements is a crucial thing to consider during construction. It may cause a project mishap if we don't treat it well. As we all know, the water pressure can overturn the whole structure and cause a collapse during the early stages of construction. But, don't get confused. Yes, hydrostatic uplift should already consider in our design during the design and development stage and strength-wise, an additional reinforcement already took care of it and that is fine. But the real question is does its weight or its mass is heavier enough to resist the upward force due to water pressure? How we are going to deal with it on the actual construction? Dewatering procedure may help to control the water away from our construction site, but we cannot keep the dewatering the whole lifespan of the construction as it is not an economical move. When is the best time to shut down the dewatering works during construction, for example? In this scenario, a hydrostatic check and calculations should be made by a structural engineer in charge to answer these questions. ASCE 7 2010, Section 3.2.2 states that, in the design of basement floors and a slab below grade, the upward pressure of water shall be taken as the full hydrostatic pressure applied over the entire area. The hydrostatic load shall be measured from the underside of construction. Any upward load shall be included in the design. How do we apply this clause in actual construction? When do we need to consider the hydrostatic check or the uplift check in our design? Well if you're still not aware, let's continue. This video will enlighten you on how to do a simple hydrostatic check calculation. But, before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to notified in our future uploads. Prior to checking, we should check some errands to make sure that there is really a need for hydrostatic checks. Check for groundwater table. If the groundwater table is higher than the bottom of our foundation level, then a hydrostatic check is a must. In this way, we can easily imagine that our structure was submerged in water which means that the water pressure exists. The actual water table of the construction site is usually mentioned in the soil investigation report that every project should have. How to perform a hydrostatic uplift check? To satisfy code requirement, the mass of the substructure should greater than the load exerted by water applied to the entire area. In a simple equation or basic principle, summation or the total of downward load due to the mass of the structure per given area should greater than that of the vertical load due to water per given area. There is no specific factor of safety considered by the code, but it is safely said that the downward load should at least greater than 25% compared to the upward load due to hydrostatic load. You can also verify the factor of safety with the local authority and adopt their requirement accordingly. Uplift check equation. The mass of the structure over the uplift pressure is greater than or equal to 1.25. Hence, to apply the safety factors, we can arrive on the following equation. Let us take a look at the sample problem below. The basement below with the raft slab thickness of 2 meters ground and first basement slab thick to be 0.35 meters and 0.4 meters respectively. The groundwater table was encountered at 5 meters below the natural grade level. Use unit weight of concrete to be 25 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Solution 1. Calculate the mass of the structure WT, per meter height or thickness of the slab or raft, and conservatively neglect the weight due to retaining wall. 2. Calculate for water pressure. The pressure at a given depth acts equally in all directions. Therefore, the pressure due to water is directly proportional to both the depth and the specific weight of the water omega, which is the weight per unit volume expressed in n per cubic millimeter. Refer to the following calculations as shown.
In the event that it does not satisfy our equation, try to increase the mass of the structure by adding thickness on the slab or raft foundation until such time that it satisfies it. In the case of actual construction where the increase of thickness is not possible, consider the weight of the upper floors to neutralize the uplift pressure and before shutting down any dewatering works. What do you think about this video? Tell us your thoughts. Leave a comment on the comment section below. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.